Welcome back. This is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Go ahead and share the video with your family and friends so they can understand why they have dysregulation of their blood sugar. Okay, today we're going to talk about the clinical management of blood sugar. How do we in this office help patients manage low blood sugar or high blood sugar or diabetes, right? So when we look at it and we break this down, there are three categories, three basic categories, right? Hypoglycemia, which is the low blood sugar, or fluctuations where you eat and then maybe an hour or two later, you have a quick drop in blood sugar, you get shaky, irritable, and you feel like you're gonna maybe even pass out or you get angry, right? These are the people who have low blood sugar or hypoglycemia. On the flip side, we have patients who have hyperglycemia. These are the people who have diabetes, right? Or insulin resistance. These are the people who after a meal feel sleepy. Um, they have a big dinner and sit down on the couch and fall asleep. So how do we manage these types of patients, right? The other one is autoimmune disease. With autoimmune disease, you have to find the triggers that create the inflammatory response from your immune system. So autoimmune disease, we talked about type 1.5. These are the patients who have adult onset autoimmune diabetes. It was not related to their actual uh, dietary habits, right? So the people who have autoimmune or 1.5 uh, diabetes, they come in and they're of regular weight or, or slim, yet they're having issues with um, insulin resistance and diabetes. So in our office, we manage these patients differently, right? Obviously for different reasons. The number one thing is maintaining a specific diet for each category, okay? Number two is removing triggers that create this inflammatory response, especially with autoimmune disease. So what we're going to do over the next uh, three or four videos is go over specifically what our clinical goals are for people who have hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia or diabetes, and then autoimmune disease. What is our clinical goal? And, can, and how do we know when these patients are getting better, right? Obviously we can do laboratory markers to see and check if patients have these issues. Um, uh, and we can use those lab markers to see the progression of patients' uh, progress. The other way we can do that is we can just look at symptomatology. Are there symptoms of high and low blood sugar improving over time, right? So now on my next video, we're gonna talk specifically about hypoglycemia. What is our clinical goal and what do we expect in our outcome, okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on The Healthy Side. Have an awesome day.